Hello, dear students, how are you? Welcome to Amader Parshala presented by Monipur Uchobidalo and College. Today, I am going to discuss about Introduction to Animal, Chapter 2, for Class 11 and 12, Biology, Part 2. Chapter 2 includes three animal of three different phyla, that is representative of three different phyla. Number one is Hydra, who is the representative of phylum Nidaria. Number two, uh, Grasshopper, who is the representative of phylum Arthropoda. And last one is uh, uh, fish, who is the representative of phylum Chordata. I have already taken a class on Hydra, that is the representative of Nidaria. Today, I will take class on Grasshopper, the representative of Arthropoda. After today's class, student will learn, that is the learning outcome of today's class is the external structure of Grasshopper. Student will learn the external structure of Grasshopper and they will also learn the digestive system and digestion in Grasshopper. So look at the figure, uh, this is Grasshopper. Uh, grasshopper is a very common insect in the uh, whole world. There are many uh, species of grasshopper. There are about uh, 20,000 of grasshopper species. Among them, uh, 20,000 is very common in Bangladesh. Grasshopper usually remain in the grassland, cropland, or any vegetation, usually in the lowland area. They don't uh, want to remain in the aquatic uh, vegetation because some problems occur there due, uh, uh, during their embryonic development. There is a, a variety of grasshopper which is known as locust. A locust is a, a form of grasshopper which are gregarious in form and migratory in nature and very devastating for, for the cropland. So they can uh, cause incalculable damage for the cropland. A large group of locust can damage a cropland within a few minutes. So it is a great threat for the cropland of the temperate region. Uh, grasshopper is usually uh, yellow green in color. Their body is elongated cylindrical. Uh, they are eight centimeter in length and they usually uh, 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 feed on uh, vegetation. This, that is they are herbivorous. They are the young one that is which has from the uh, larva that is the nymphal stage feed on the young leaf, young stem that is the soft part of the stem uh, plant but the mature grasshopper uh, or adult grasshopper can uh, feed on the hard part of the um, plant also. Uh, grasshopper is very uh, different color, there are many color we can see in the grasshopper. Some of them are uh, yellow or green which I have mentioned already and another is brown in color, someone is also yellow, blue in color. All these colorful nature uh, help them to uh, protect themselves from their enemy. So the classification of grasshopper, kingdom animalia, phylum arthropoda, class insecta, order orthoptera, family acrididae, genus poikiloceras, species poikiloceras pictus. So, uh, uh, grasshopper of the today's class is the Poikiloceras pictus. Now, we will know that uh, this grasshopper is an insect of the uh, phylum Arthropoda. So, insects are arthropods with joint appendages, segmented bodies and an exoskeleton composed of chitin. Insects are in the class Insecta and are the largest and most diverse group of animals on the earth. Insects have the three body regions which are head, thorax and abdomen, three pairs of legs attached to the thorax, a single pair of antenna attached to the head, mouth parts adapted for chewing or sucking and two pairs of wings present. But there are some insects uh, uh, are present which have a single pair of wing or they are wingless but Poikiloceras has two pairs of wings. So insect can um, be separated from the other class of arthropods uh, because their body is uh, separated into three regions which are head, thorax and abdomen and they have three pairs of legs and a single pair of antenna present on the head. 
the general characteristics of uh, Poikiloceras pictus or grasshopper include body and limbs are segmented externally, exoskeleton composed with chitin without a true coelom but with a hemocele. A true seal, a hemocell is the uh, condition of the coelom where peritoneal membrane, mesodermal peritoneal membrane remain absent and uh, coelom is filled with blood, then this type of coelom is known as hemocell. In grasshopper, the coelom is hemocell. Jointed appendages modified for feeding, musculature distinctly striated, ventral nerve cord with dorsal brain, bilateral symmetry. And uh, beside this, uh, they, uh, their circulatory system is open type, that is uh, open blood circulatory system present in grasshopper. Uh, their respiration by tracheal system, uh, their excretion by malpigian tubules and incomplete metamorphosis present in grasshopper. Now look the body segmentation and the tagmatization in the grasshopper. Tagmatization is the condition when the body is segmented and some of the segmented create some region is known as tagmatization. In grasshopper, tagmatization is very prominent and in grasshopper, there are three tagma in this in grasshopper's body. One is head, another is thorax and another is abdomen. Head is formed by uh, six segment and thorax is formed by three segment and abdomen is formed by 11 segment. Uh, the body of grasshopper is covered by exoskeleton which I have mentioned before which is made up of chitin but their segmented body uh, is uh, covered by a, a sclerite shield or plate which is formed by the secretion of the hypodermis is known as sclerite. So, the each of the segment of the body is covered by the uh, sclerite, uh, sclerite and it is a hard shield or plate like structure. These uh, sclerite remain attached internally by a thin membrane which is known as suture. Due to this arrangement or attachment of the body, they can easily bend their body. Now we will start with head. The head of grasshopper is known as hypognathus type. So what do we, we mean by hypognathus head? Uh, hypognathus head is a type of head is also called the orthopteroid head type. Mouth parts are ventrally placed and projected downwards and it is at right angle to the long axis of the body. So the head of the grasshopper is hypognathus type because their mouth is project downwards and mouth parts remain ventrally. Now this head is uh, covered by, um, uh, this head is composed of four, uh, six segments. Look at the figure, this is the head of the grasshopper, this is the ventral position and this is the lateral position. So in this figure we can see that head consists of uh, sclerite which is vertex, genna, uh, plurally geni, uh, then uh, fronts, then clypeus. These are the uh, head segment and in the head there are compound eyes, two compound eyes present, uh, two antennae present and ocelli present between the compound eye. And these are the mouth parts of grasshopper which uh, is present around the mouth cavity. Now the sclerite of the head which I have mentioned already, vertex, fronts, cripeus, jena and occiput. Now on the head region I have mentioned already that there are compound eyes. So what is compound eye? Compound eye is the photoreceptor organ of the grasshopper or insect uh, class and there are two compound eye present in dorsolateral uh, position of the head and um, compound eye is lar uh, large in size, black in color and more or less round in shape. Each of the compound eye consists of the structural and functional unit which is known as omatidium. The sight ability of grasshopper is uh, developed than the other insects but it is more or less similar to the um, uh, cockroach and prawn. So the structural and functional unit of uh, compound eye is omatidium. There are about 2000 omatidium present in each uh, compound eye. Now uh, there are ocelli. Between the two compound eye, there are three ocelli. So, ocelli are three in number and between two compound eye. 
Ocelli is uh, has their um, light sensitive cell and they have the uh, transparent uh, lens and they have the uh, photoreceptor sensitivity they can catch but with the Ocelli. Ocelli is also known as simple eye. Now the antenna in front of the compound eye there are a pair of antenna present in the uh, grasshopper. Antenna is the sensitive to touch, to smell and uh, they can detect the wave of the uh, sound and antenna is a segmented part. Look at the figure, antenna, antenna consists of scape, pedicel and flagellum. Pedicel is the smallest and unsegmented part and flagellum is the largest portion of the antenna and it is about 25 segmented. Now the mouth purse. Mouth purse is the part, uh, segmented part, uh, which present around the mouth and helps in uh, uh, catching food and also in digestion of the food. So the purse, segmented part uh, around the mouth cavity, which help in digestion and holding food and also the uh, catching food is known as mouth purse. The mouth purse of grasshopper consists of labra, mandible, maxillae, labium and hypopharynx. So there are five parts of um, uh, mouth parts in grasshopper. Labrum is known as upper lip and uh, mandibles are, uh, this is one in number, mandibles are paired, that is two mandibles present in uh, grasshopper and mandibles are uh, act as jaw and they have the teeth like structure to cut the food. And below the mandibles is maxillae, they are also paired, there are two maxillae present in grasshopper. Maxillae consists of some segments where, which include uh, lacinia, gallia, maxillary pulp and also cardo and stipes. And labium is the lower lip which consists of uh, submentum, mentum, glossa, paraglossa and pulps that is labial, labial pulps. And last one is uh, hypopharynx which act as tongue. So look at the uh, figure of the mouth purse. This is the mouth purse of grasshopper. This is labrum which is attached to the head segment clypeus and uh, below the labrum, uh, labrum is more or less uh, round in shape and broad in size. Below the labrum in the two side of the mouth cavity there is mandibles. The inner edge of the mandibles is serrated with uh, dentine which uh, uh, helps in cutting of the food. And below the maxilla, uh, below the mandible is maxilla. Maxilla is segmented uh, mouth purse, and it um, has it has there is the there is the another part which is known as cardo. There is cardo, cardo. So mouth purse maxilla has uh, cardo stipes, then uh, lacinia, and lacinia is covered by gallia. And there is pulp, that is the maxillary pulp. Maxillary pulp of grasshopper is five segmented and there are sensory bristles, so they have sensation action. And there is the labium, which is the lower lip. Labium consists of uh, men, uh, uh, submentum, mentum. So there is another part, which is, uh, this is submentum, submentum. And uh, below the submentum is mentum and then this is ligula and these are labial pulp. Labial pulp is three segmented and labial pulp also have sensory bristle and uh, this is hypopharynx and in the middle portion of the uh, mouth parts is hypopharynx fleshy part, um, part and it is act as tongue. So now the function of the mouth parts. What are the function of mouth parts? The general function or in a brief, the function of labrum is used to uh, hold food, that is labrum is used to hold food, mandible is used to chew food, maxilla used to chew and taste food, labium used to hold uh, food while it is being chewed and hypopharynx used to mix food with saliva. So these are the mouth parts of uh, grasshopper which have various uh, uh, function in related to the digestion. Now the thorax, the second tex, uh, tegma of the uh, grasshopper body is thorax or middle tegma of the grasshopper body is thorax. Thorax is made up of three segments which are prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. So thorax made up of prothorax, mesothorax, metathorax. Prothorax is the first segment, this is second and this is the third segment. So these three segments combinedly form the thorax. The 
dorsal part of the thorax is known as sternum ventral part of the thorax is known as sternum and lateral part of the uh, thorax is known as pleura the thorax region in the thorax region there are two pairs of spiracle through which air enters into the body of the grasshopper and respiration occur beside this in the thoracic region there are uh, three pairs of legs and two pairs of wing present in the body of grasshopper so now the leg uh, leg of the grasshopper is uh, three pairs each of the thoracic segment bear one pair of leg among the three pair of leg last pair of leg is very strong very stout and large in size and uh, they are uh, adapted for jumping usually the grasshopper use the leg for uh, walking for climbing but last pair of leg give them the ability to jump and cover a long distance this type of leg is known as saltatorial leg so the leg consists of five segment which are coxa trochanter femur tibia tarsus in front of the tarsus there are tarsomere or pretarsus tibia and tarsus bear some sensory bristle and femur is the longest and largest and strongest bone of the third pair of uh, leg for which it is known as saltatorial leg now the wing the grasshopper has two pairs of wing uh, the fore wing this is the fore wing and this is the hind wing fore wing is elongated a hard and non membranous and not used in flying so the fore wing is known as elytra because they just uh, cover the hind wing in rest period that is when the grasshopper is not in flying condition or not use the hind wing for flying at that time fore wing cover the hind wing for that reason fore wing is known as elytra or tegmina and hind wing is broader uh, and transparent and membranous and used for flying now the abdomen the grasshopper abdomen consists of 11 segment now, there is 11 segment uh, uh, as uh, present in the grasshopper abdomen and the first segment first abdominal segment we are a uh, uh, membrane and membranous structure which is sensitive to the uh, hearing it is known as tympanic membrane so with the help of tympanic membrane uh, grasshopper have the ability to uh, hear and uh, rest of the uh, uh, other segment that is total uh, among total 11, 11 segment first eight segment have a pair of spiracles so in abdominal region of the grasshopper there are eight pairs of spiracle present these are the spiracle these are the spiracle through which air enter within the body of the uh, grasshopper the uh, sclerite of the uh, ventral um, dorsal side of the grasshopper of abdomen is known as targum and the uh, sclerite of the um, ventral side is known as sternum there is no pleura present in case of the abdomen of a grasshopper the last abdominal segment uh, has the, some difference between among uh, male and female grasshopper so by um, by observing the um, abdomen uh, we can uh, identify which grasshopper is male and which one is female. The genital pore is present in case of male uh, grasshopper in nine segment and in case of female uh, grasshopper the genital pore present between the junction of eight and nine segment. And the targa of the um, nine, nine and ten segment, nine and ten seg segment partially fused but in case of um, uh, male grasshopper this uh, nine segment is uh, form the subgenital uh, plate nine segment that is nine sternal uh, form the subgenital plate and in case of female grasshopper uh, there is ovipositor present and in case, uh, 11 segment of body segment form a supraanal plate which cover the uh, uh, anus and the genital pore of grasshopper so a female grasshopper has a longer abdomen than a male that ends with a four pointed tip called an ovipositor the ovipositor is used to lay eggs so look at the um, end of your grasshopper's abdomen and determine if it is a male or female so look at the figure this is female grasshopper abdomen and this is male grasshopper abdomen 
Abdomen of male grasshopper is elongated and narrow and in case of female it is uh, broader, it is broader. The in, in female, the female grasshopper is usually larger in size than the male grasshopper. In case of male grasshopper there are sarci, anal sarci and subgenital plate present. In case of female grasshopper ovipositor present. The leg of female grasshopper is larger and longest and strongest than the male grasshopper. That is all for the external feature of grasshopper. Now we will discuss about the digestive system of grasshopper. Digestive system is the system through which digestion occurs. So what is digestion? Digestion is the physiological process through which animal uh, 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 convert the uh, uh, complex food substance into simple one and observable form so they can easily absorb the food uh, nutrient. Uh, the system which through which digestion occur is known as digestive system and the digestive system of grasshopper consists of elementary canal and digestive gland. Uh, the elementary canal is the part of the digestive system which uh, starts with mouth and ends by, uh, by anus and digestive gland is the gland the secretion of which helps in digestion. There are three types of digestive gland present in grasshopper. One is uh, salivary gland, another one is mesenteron that is wall of the mesenteron and another one is hepatic sica. So the digestive system of grasshopper helps in ingestion digestion, absorption and ingestion of food. Now we will start with elementary canal. The elementary canal starts from mouth and ends by anus. The elementary canal of grasshopper is divided into three regions. One is stomodium, another is mesenteron and another is proctodium. Stomodium is known as foregut, mesenteron is known as uh, uh, midgut and proctodium is known as hindgut. Look at the figure, look at the figure, this is the body of grasshopper, this portion is a stomodium, so stomodium starts with mouth and end by gizzard. So from mouth to gizzard is stomodium, then uh, after the gizzard there is the mesenteron and this portion is mesenteron which is mid cut and the from uh, and below the mesenteron to anus is the hindgut or proctodium. Stomodium and proctodium origin from the embryonic ectoderm and mesenteron origin from the embryonic endoderm. Now the at the base of the preoral cavity, this is preoral cavity or Siberia, at the base of the preoral cavity is mouth present, through the mouth food enters into the pharynx. That is by with the help of mouth parts food enters into the preoral cavity, then from the preoral cavity through the mouth food enters into the body of the grasshopper. Uh, below the mouth, that is just behind the mouth is the pharynx. Pharynx is a short muscular uh, part and the, through the pharynx food enters into the esophagus. Below the uh, esophagus or behind the esophagus and uh, behind the pharynx is the esophagus is a uh, straight uh, thin walled and less muscular uh, tube like structure through which food enters into the crop. So crop is the part of the uh, um, uh, um, uh, digestive system of elementary canal of grasshopper where food store for sometimes. Crop is a bag like structure, it is uh, less thin uh, walled and less muscular and food uh, just stay for sometimes there and also in the crop food is mixed with uh, saliva and sometimes of digestion may occur in the crop. Then below the crop is the gizzard. Below the crop is the gizzard. A look at the figure. This is esophagus. This is the crop bag like structure and below the crop is gizzard. The gizzard is outer wall of the gizzard is made up of, made up of circular muscle and inner wall of the gizzard um, um, decrease the lumen of the uh, uh, gizzard. Uh, uh, this inner wall forms some uh, sclerite chitinized uh, hard plate which is known as teeth. So within the gizzard there are six teeth, chitinous teeth present and also there is less uh, thick, uh, less thick, less chitinous uh, cushion like pad also present and also the some bristles are present in this gizzard. 
gizzard is divided into two region uh, upper one is known as armarium and lower one is known as stomodial verb uh, within the armarium the digestion that is the mechanical digestion grinding uh, masticating uh, crushing of the food occur and straining is occur through the uh, bristles of the uh, gizzard and through the uh, uh, stomodial valve food enters into the mesenteron and food cannot go back to the uh, gizzard again. So look at the figure, look at the figure, this is the uh, transverse section of gizzard of grasshopper, this is the, their lumen become very short decrease in uh, size due to the infolding of the uh, internal wall of the gizzard, these are the teeth and pad and these are the circular muscle of uh, gizzard. Now, uh, after the gizzard, uh, there is the mesenteron. Mesenteron is uniformly diameter uh, long tube, thin wall tube and the starting and ending of the mesenteron is uh, guarded by valve, sphincter valve and at the junction where the uh, gizzard attached to the mesenteron is known as cardia and at that region there are six pairs of uh, finger like uh, six pairs of finger like hepatic cica present. The secretion of hepatic cica enters into the mesenteron and digestion start the digestion. At the uh, area where the uh, mesenteron attached to the proctodium that is the hindgut there are some yellow color blind ended tubules present which are known as malpigian tubules. Malpigian tubules have no uh, function in the right, uh, digestion but they do the excretion in the body of grasshopper. So the last part of the digestive system is proctodium or hindgut. Hindgut consists of ileum, colon, rectum and last opening is anus. So ileum is the broader uh, structure part of the proctodium which have the uh, villi inside them, uh, mesenteron also have some villi, so food absorption occur there. Colon is the coil part of the proctodium and they have their inner wall is wrinkled in size and last one is rectum where has rectal papilla, absorption, food absorption occur there and the water, minerals or any amino acid if remain within the um, uh, food then the, with the help of rectal papilla food is absorbed there. So this is the an undigested food comes out through the anus. So this is the digestive system of grasshopper and digestion occur with the help of uh, digestive gland in the mesenteron and in the some uh, part of the digestion occur in the crop also. And the digestive gland I have already mentioned hepatic cica and inner wall on mesenteron. Another digestive gland is salivary gland. There is a pair of salivary gland present in grasshopper body. These are branched structures, small in size and their secretion open into the mouth, then digestion occur within the uh, crop. There are three types of food present in the grasshopper, uh, food items, uh, protein, carbohydrate and lipids. So all type of uh, enzyme secreted by the hepatic cica, uh, mesenteric wall and saliva. So uh, that's all dear student, there is a homework for you. Biology teacher said in the class that there was an animal in your text that belongs to largest phylum on the animal kingdom. So the question is what is locust? B. What do you understand by hemocene? C. Describe the digestive system of the insect which is mentioned in the stem. And D. The digestion process of the mentioned organism. Not so complicated. Explain. That's all dear student. Thank you. See you soon.